amount of Lego catalogs. I need a Lego catalog to review. So I thought, hey, this will do the trick. It's the Target toy catalog for the holiday season. I mean, I guess. It's actually not really holiday themed. Like, hmm. All right, well, either way, we know what they're aiming for. And I look at these every year, so it's kind of like, why not look at them on camera? There's sort of a Lego thing going on here with the bullseye. There's these two, uh, you know, Lego brick heads right there. Let's see what we got. Like, I, I'm genuinely curious what Lego, or no, not even what toys are just hot this holiday season. Because last season was what? Or sorry, last year was, uh, was that the Hatchimals, I think it was? An LOL surprise, so we'll see. I guess Tickle Me Elmo's back. I guess Barbie's in style. Lego Harry Potter up there. We also have Funko Fridays. I think that's when they released that uh, Pikachu exclusive pop, which I don't understand that. So here you go, some generic toy talk for, from Justigan. When they release, I don't, I fo okay, I follow Funko, but I don't buy Funko. So they released like a Pikachu exclusive Funko Pop, and it was just a Target exclusive. Never did any Pokemon Funko Pops, never did any other Nintendo Funko Pops. They've only ever done that. Like, why not go straight into the Funko Pop? Like, why not release a whole thing of Pokemon for Funko Pop? I don't know why. It must be a licensing issue or something, but I'm very interested to see why that happened, why they haven't released more. We have the Batmobile here, which, let's be honest, it may be a top toy they're advertising, but I have not seen any of these sell. Uh, other than that, LOL Surprise is still around. Lots of random creatures, it seems like. I mean, I don't know if kids will be buying these of just random creatures that aren't necessarily, like, licensed characters. Who knows? Now, Bumblebee, because the Bumblebee movie's coming out. This little robot looks kind of cool, actually. He rolls over activity cards, scans, and plays games like bot bowling, go-kart, and more. That's cute. That's cute. Uh, not much else, though. See, more random creatures. Ooh, this is cool. Oh, this is one of those, like... Let me see, because they have, like, the... Yeah, Hot Wheels car washes. Dude, I had one of these when I was younger. Coolest crap ever. I love that. It was so cool. Like, it's basically a roller coaster for your Hot Wheels. Uh... Let's see, anything else interesting here? Well, we got the Union Kitty Fairground set, which is great, and the Target exclusives, so that kind of makes sense. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, remember that scene in Jurassic World where the T-Rex has freaking laser beams? Okay, well, <laughs> that is $100, wow, okay, Imagine X though. I used to love Imagine X, because they would have these pieces you could connect together. It was like an error when I was just into Imagine X and I'm in Lego. But it was like, because I was taking a break from Lego or something, I don't know. Lupita, uh, never even heard of that one. Uh, is this the same one? I don't know. There's another uh, Elmo, which is not the same one as the beginning because it's not a doll. It looked like the one from the beginning looked like a doll. This is just like a little Target shopping place, or it's just really one stop shop, so it's just a role play Target thing. I remember I had a, like a McDonald's set up, and you, you could make like fake McDonald's food and stuff like that. That was super fun. Oh, now we're getting to the video games. Can't wait till Smash comes out. I mean, uh, I've talked about it on Just Two Games, so go check that out if you haven't. Uh, Odyssey is great. I want to replay it because freaking Nintendo wiped my data. Uh, I do want Super Mario Party because my friend has it, and I'm actually really liking it. Cause it was one of those games where I'm like, okay, this is not gonna be good. This is not gonna be good, and then I tried it and I liked it, so I was like, oh crap. <laughs> Another game that I kept saying it's not going to be good is Let's Go Eevee, but the difference is I did try it, and I did not like I'm like, this is so bland, so watered down. It has less content than the games it's based off of from, what is it, 95, 96? Pokemon Red and Blue? I mean, it's really weak. Like, they really just crap this one out. In the comments, you could start a war about it. Tell me how I'm wrong. Whatever. Just not a fan of this at all. It might even be a new Just Two rant. We'll have to save it. Um, Labo. Oof, those... Labo didn't sell well. I was going to make like a pun of it. Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are still there, even though that's last year's. Luigi's Mansion 3DS. Just give me the Luigi's Mansion 3 already. Uh, that's a cool looking 2DS though. NES Classic Edition. All that artificial scarcity. Look, it's available everywhere now. We have the Xbox One S, which I'm trying to get one of these consoles this holiday season. I don't know which one. I mean, you guys tell me in the comments, which one should I get? Xbox One S or X or PS4, whatever. I don't I don't know which one is which. Like, I just need to get a console to play Kingdom Hearts on. I guess by that, I need to get this because I, I want to play the old games because I haven't played the old games in years. And, you know, I just want to get Kingdom Hearts 3. And it's not on PC. It's not on Switch. Like, come on. 
Come on. Uh, but sh any games here? No. Any games I'd like here? N well, if I do get a PS4, I might want to get Spider-Man as well, because, like, I want to play that. And Red Dead, like... I guess they don't have rated M games here, so no Red Dead. Minecraft has a little section, which... I was about to say, is that built out of Lego? No, it's not built out of Lego. Um, these two sets, you got you got your Lego sets there, which, I don't know, the saturation on that picture just looks a little bit weird. Let's see, these are just little cool coding stuff and everything. Where's Lego Boost? You gotta put Lego Boost on here, come on. Uh, just phones and stuff, leapfrogs, look, the leapfrog epic. Watches, nothing too interesting here. I need to get wireless headphones for like jogging and crap. iPhone XS, oh, iPhone X's and iPhone X's Max. Well, I'm using an iPhone X now. iPhone X Max, I guess, is bigger. I don't know. You got those portable speakers. I've been trying to get one of those actually because I jam out when I'm in the shower. Uh, just little storybooks, it looks like. Stocking stuffers. So, here you go. This is based off the Grinch, a Whoville celebration, the new Illumination movie that looks so bland. All right, let's be positive. Let's be positive. Elf on a Shelf has a movie. Come on. Yeah, you know, I thought this would be more interesting. Like, now it's just... Okay, we're getting back to the toys. We're, actually, I spoke way too soon. Okay, you got the Dino Toys. You got your Jurassic World Lego sets. That's cool. That's cool. You got a Wreck-It Ralph uh, big figurine, which I'm, I'm hyped for the movie. I am hyped for that movie. That comes out soon. I'm also hyped to see Aquaman just to see if it's bad or good. You know, watch all that super stuff. I'm going to start reviewing stuff on my channel. Like, who knows? I'll probably do like a Fantastic Beast 2 review eventually. We also got some Infinity War Lego sets. Two good ones, I would say. I guess. I, I, I think I like this one, right? It had Teenage Groot as an exclusive besides that keychain. You even got some role play costumes, which are cute. Let's see. Uh, you got some uh, Star Wars Lego sets, both two good sets in my opinion. This one's just a little bit overpriced. And some, oh, they have DuckTales TV toys, that's kind of cute. Incredibles 2 toys still. We're barely denting this, I'm sorry. Ooh, look at this, some Mega Blocks, or sorry, Mega Constructs. Build a Pikachu. Those actually weren't bad. The Mega Constructs Pokemon were not bad from the ones I reviewed. I actually did reviews of that. If you're a newer subscriber, you might not have known that. I did some Mega Constructs reviews. I also did some for Despicable Me 3. So has got some blasters here. I want to see the, the Fortnite nerf and, and, and Overwatch nerf stuff. That's going to be interesting. You got uh, some Roblox as a hero set here. Shout out to my boy. Nah. Oh, are they here? No. Dang it. My boy made those. Actually, you might know him. Four sign. Uh, not too much here. You got some, uh, car stuff. Just some other cars. There you go. The big Hot Wheel, like, uh, little garages and, and, and you know, car washes and such. Those are kind of cool. I like those a lot. Lego did Mighty Micros, which are kind of like competitive to Hot Wheels. Those are cute. I've been interested in this Monopoly Cheaters Edition. Like, how do you even play it? Like... It encourages you to cheat, so I'm very curious about that. Might have to get that on Black Friday. Usually I get, like, a Monopoly game on Black Friday. Like, I just go... Because I, I like buying, like, a thing on Black Friday. They usually have sales on Monopoly stuff. Uh, Monopoly Gamer. Very disappointed on how that came out. I haven't tried it. I read the rules. I'm like, this... It's not regular Monopoly. I, I was hoping for some more Monopoly Nintendo stuff. Because I have all the Nintendo Monopoly stuff they've released. Um... Not too much here. That's like an extreme fidget spinner. Holy crajoli. What the heck? VTech. These are for the little ones. Sorry, little ones. I don't have much to say here. Oh, well, Play-Doh. It's, now it's just a meme. Like, my friends are just getting Play-Doh now. Like, we're outside the target demographic, just much like Lego, but... Play-Doh's fun as heck, and then I smelt the Play-Doh, and I'm like, that's so nostalgic to me. Uh, I don't care. Oh, well, actually, okay. These are always awesome. Like, oh, crud, I just moved this out of the way, but 
I used to love um, anything with baking and stuff like that. Like the Easy Bake Oven. Or is it the Real Meal Oven? I don't know. They had one that was... Easy Bake, I think, was more girly. So you had to get the Real Meal Oven, which was like blue. It was more gender neutral. That stuff was fun. Where, okay, look. Top picks from YouTube creators. All right, where's my page? Is that EvanTube or something? Or is that Guava Juice? Oh, yeah, look. That is Guava Juice. Guava Toys. Wow, I can't believe I knew that. I usually don't know any of these... People. I don't know who Craft City is. Uh, I have no idea who Ryan's World... Oh, that I think what's his... Um, Ryan's World. He's He has collabs or something. I don't know, but I remember Brickatech told me about him. Jif Palm? Never heard of that. All right, where's my page? Come on. Like, they gotta have the Just Good page. I, I, I got a few picks. They'll all be Lego. Well, they'll be Lego and then Smash Ultimate. Look, it's a block party. Is this deal over? Spend 50 get 10 but being there donut that classic uh the ultimate hulkbuster which isn't in stores yeah oh okay all these are available at target.com only okay that makes sense and you got some more uh great lego sets in my opinion uh at least the harry potter ones i didn't really care for that friend's tree house but uh you yeah, know same with the disney one so yeah i forgot all those sets I don't recommend any of them except that one and the harry potter stuff come on Oh, yeah, we, we got a whole page. We're awesome. All right. This is actually the Jesse Good Recommendations page. I just don't want to say it. Let's see. Any of these interesting that I want to comment on? Well, I didn't know Back to the Future was exclusive to Target. Well, actually, that makes sense. I did get them at Target. And they still have Garmin Mecha Man, which I don't see in stores often. That's kind of interesting to include there. You got some exclusives, like the Aquaman set, which is a Target exclusive. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, back to the other stuff. Mighty Beans is still going on, huh? I haven't heard that name in a while. Mighty Beans. Plushies. Hatchimals. There you go. Hatchimals are back. Hatchimals are back -amals. LOL surprise. Which, it's that's like something, they're, they're hyping it up. Oh, it's rare. It's exclusive, so get it. And like, but like, do, do kids actually like the look of these toys? Like, they just look ugly to me. Like, oh my gosh. Uh, poops, poopsie? That's a thing? Po poopsie? Like, we're doing this? It looks like a poopy, like, this is a thing. Okay, this is what we're doing. Okay. All right. My Little Pony. I can't believe the show's still going on. Trolls. I can't believe they're still making toys for trolls, I guess. I mean, the sequel comes out, what, 2020? And the lighting's adjusting again. Uh, Shopkins, that's one that looks like hot, like, a few years ago. Probably still has a community. I know there's a Shopkins community online. Like, we have the Lego community. There's a Shopkins community. Jojo Sia, right? I've, I've, I only know of that because I think, um, somebody posted on my Twitter or something like that. It's Aubrey Studios. That's it, Jonathan. He posted something about Jojo or something. I don't remember. Barbie, Barbie's a thing. Baby Alive, that was a, I remember those, Baby Alive. Moana still has toys apparently, but they're all on sale. I guess they're trying to get rid of the clearance or, you know, the inventory. You got some Disney Princess stuff. You got some of Our Generation. Never even heard of that one. Lori, didn't hear about that one. Disney Junior. Just have a random Fozzie bear there. Uh, Melissa and Doug, that's a classic. I have no idea what this is. Nella, never heard of that one. Peppa Pig, <laughs> well, you all know who Peppa Pig is. You got some Mickey stuff for the birthday. You got some PJ Masks, obviously. You don't know what PJ Masks is? Come on. I don't know. Uh, Peppa Troll, I've seen. Peppa Troll, I've seen. I've seen that one. Super Monsters, have never seen that. Oh, okay, Super Monsters is a Netflix. What does that say? Now streaming on Netflix. That's funny. They just have that that thing on Netflix. Okay. And uh, Kingdom Builders and Sesame Street. Oh, that's the one that they had. The Tickle Me Elmo on the front page or whatever. It's $15. I remember when those used to be more expensive. I think it was. Fisher Price. Some Little Tykes. These are all classics. Except these are all classics. Come on. All right. All right. You got some more little tight stuff. 
Again, don't have much to comment. It's definitely outside my age range. Role play, you get it, but I'm but Cruise control. Okay, so these are bikes and stuff. I loved to ride my bike when I was younger, my scooter. Uh, you got some sports stuff, my favorite section, JK. Dressing stuff, you know, because put clothes in a freaking kid's catalog, because kids love clothes. Alright, this was fun. We're just skipping over a whole bunch of stuff. Honestly, like, okay, oh, you got Unikini at the back, yeah. This is like a just too quality control video, because like, this video is kind of bad. <laughs> but like... It's, I was like, I need to open a catalog. I don't have a catalog this week. I want to look through something and comment on stuff. And you know what? I did just that. I did just that. And this kid's just enjoying Let's Go Pikachu. It's, it's young Etika. Okay. I have nothing else to add here. This was, this was it. This was the best, like, a just a good video. All right. Peace out. Bye.